Hi mga fam, ati Myra here. For today's video, pag-uusapan natin itong most requested dito sa ating channel. Ito nga yung tunic, the first Neo Bank in the Philippines. And alamin natin ano nga ba yung nagagawa nito, ano ba yung kaibahan niya with the traditional banks and with other digital banks na natry na natin. Also guys, totoo ba na ito yung may pinakamataas na interest so far? If you're interested, please keep on watching! What is Tonic? Tonic po is the first new bank in the Philippines. At pag sinabing new bank, it means digital only bank. Si Tonic po ay nag operate on a fully digital platform. Ibig sabihin, unlike any traditional banks, si Tonic po ay branchless. Aside from that, guys, Tonic po is supervised by the Banko Central ng Pilipinas at yung pera natin is insured by the PDIC up to 500,000 pesos per depositor. Now, maybe you will ask me, Ati Myra, paano ba mag-open ng Tonic account? First, importante na at least 18 years old and above ka, tapos Filipina citizen and is residing in the Philippines, and dapat meron kang at least isang valid ID. Ano nga ba ito? We have passport, driver's license, UMID, SSS, firearms, tsaka PRC ID. Now, maybe you will ask me, Ati Myra, wala ako ni isa sa mga valid IDs na to. Pwede pa rin ba akong makagawa ng Tonic account? Definitely, yes. Pwede ka pa rin makagawa ng Tonic account. Yun nga lang, if wala kang valid ID, yung account natin will not be upgraded. Ibig sabihin, limited lang to 50,000 pesos yung pwede nating ilagay. Next, valid for 1 year lamang yung ating account if hindi upgraded or if hindi tayo nakapag-submit ng valid ID na accepted po nila. So, if within 1 year, hindi pa tayo nakapag-submit or upload ng valid ID, iko-close po ni Tonic yung ating account. Sayang din naman, ba? Next one, guys. We can only avail solo stash up to 2 accounts. Hindi tayo pwede for the time deposit at group stash po. And yung Tonic subscription natin, guys, includes limang individual stashes or group stashes. This is for the upgraded account, guys, ha? Tapos, pwede rin tayo magkaroon ng 5 time deposit. Free po yung Instapay. Free din yung Philippine ATM transactions. Free din yung Tonic to Tonic transactions. Free din yung debit card at yung debit card replacement. Wala pong account opening fee. Zero minimum account balance. Zero din yung minimum initial deposit. Walang dormancy fees. Tsaka walang account closure fees. Wow! How amazing, ba? Ngayon naman guys, pag-usapan natin yung mga products or features na offered ni Tunic. Wala pong buy, load, and pay bills dito kay Tunic compared to other digital banks na natry natin. Kagaya ni CIMB, ni Como, ni ING, tsaka ni Discartic. And ako personally ha, mas bet ko na walang buy, load, tsaka pay bills yung isang bank app. Nang sa ganun, mas maiwasan natin yung paglabas or pag-spend ng pera. And para mas makapag-focus tayo sa pag-save and pag-grow ng pera natin in a bank app, right? So, ano sa tingin nyo guys? Tingin nyo ba mas okay na may buy load at pay bills yung isang bank app? Or okay lang kahit wala? Comment nyo naman sa baba. I really want to know your thoughts about it po. Okay, so guys, isa sa product po ni Tonic ay yung kanilang virtual debit card. After nating mag-register ng ating Tonic account, automatically magkakaroon na tayo ng free virtual debit card na pwede nating gamitin for online purchases. And yung kanilang physical debit card guys is coming soon. Makikita natin sa app na coming soon pa siya. Pero when I check frequently asked questions, pwede naman pala tayo makapag-request ng separate physical debit card after natin mag-provide ng valid government issued ID and kapag meron tayong at least 750 pesos sa ating account. Confirm lang natin yung ating delivery address at kapag within covered delivery area naman, pwede namang i-deliver within 7 to 10 days. And magkano naman yung physical debit card at yung Myra? Your first request po for physical debit card is free, tapos free din yung delivery. Pero kapag nawala yung card and gusto mo ng panibagong card, pwede kang mag-request ng replacement for 150 pesos. Tawagan lang daw yung customer care. Pero guys, this is the first part ng ating video, ba? Yung card replacement is free. Pero dito sa frequently asked questions, may charge po na 150. Ano ba talaga, Tonic? 
Now guys, please take note na yung physical debit card po ni Tunic, pwede lang siyang tanggapin sa mga machines bearing the MasterCard, Maestro, or Cirrus logo just like this one. Kaya kung meron ka physical debit card, check nyo muna yung ATM and make sure na merong logo na MasterCard, Maestro, or Cirrus so you're able to withdraw. Okay? Because if not, kung bank net ATM yan, then hindi po siya tatanggapin. Alright? However guys, Maglo-launch naman sila ng Banknet Enabled Debit Card later this year. Are there any fees for debit cards? Yung ATM withdrawals po sa MasterCard ATMs ay free. Pero meron pong 250 pesos na access fee charged by other banks para magamit yung MasterCard ATMs. Free po yung balance inquiry. Yung card replacement po is 150. Yung foreign currency transaction service fee is 2.5%. Next na product ni Tonic guys ay yung kanilang Tonic account. Ito yung main account. Pag naglagay tayo dito ng pera, it will earn 1% interest. Another interesting product ni Tonic na sobrang interested akong itry ay yung kanilang stash na pwedeng solo at saka group stash. But first, ano nga ba yung stash? Stash po is a saving pocket in your Tonic account kung saan you can separate your certain amounts in your savings according to specific saving purposes you have in mind. Depende kung ano yung purpose nung gusto mong pag-ipunan. Let's say, this stash will be for emergency savings. Another stash will be for vacation. Or another stash will be for the 50,000 subscribers giveaway. Ay! Nasabi ko tuloy. But anyway guys, abangan nyo ha. As soon as we reach 50,000 subscribers, magkakaroon pa tayo ng giveaway. Kaya kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe, like ano pang hinihintay mo? Please subscribe now! So kanina guys, na-mention natin yung solo stash tsaka group stash. When you say solo stash, ibig sabihin personal. Gusto mong mag-save for something on your own. Pag group stash naman, maybe kabarkada mo, workmate mo, or kapamilya mo, meron kayong gustong pag-ipunan kasi meron kayong gustong gawin. For example, charity work man yan, or something. Pwede mo silang i-include sa stash na to. Ang kagandahan guys with the stash is that meron kang flexibility na i-withdraw yung pera anytime without any lock-in period while earning a high interest. O ba? Another interesting product ni Tunic ay yung kanilang time deposit. Ano nga ba yung time deposit? Time deposit po is a form of savings or investment kung saan you pledge a certain amount of pera for a fixed period of time in exchange for high interest. And guys, when you say high interest, sobrang high interest po talaga dito sa Tunic compared to traditional banks. I made a little research about traditional banks time deposit guys at ito yung natuklasan ko. Check it out. Ito yung sa BDO na time deposit. As you can see, yung kanilang interest rate sobrang baba. Now, this is for the BPI. And this is for the Metro Bank's time deposit po. As you can see, same lang naman yung interest rates nila, de ba? And from what I heard, guys, ha, yung time deposit from traditional banks nagre-require ng mas high po na opening account. Unlike dito kay Tunic, as low as 5,000 pesos, pwede ka nang magkaroon ng time deposit account. Basta upgraded lang yung Tunic account po natin, guys, ha? And yung terms naman nila, pwede mong ilagay yung pera mo doon in 6 months, 9 months, 12 months, 18 months, or 24 months. May penalty ba kapag nag-close tayo before maturity? Now, take note, kapag ka nag-withdraw tayo early, within 5 days from the time deposit opening, or ito yung tinatawag na cooling off period, guys, then we can get full refund ng ating time deposit. Wala pong documentary stamp tax yan, and wala ding interest. However, kapag nag-withdraw tayo early, pero after na the cooling off period, or after 5 days na, then we will earn tonic account interest which is 1% and we will be charged for the documentary stamp tax po. Okay? So, 1% yung makukuha natin interest, not the 6% or 4 point something percent guys. It's 1% since before maturity natin siya, we need draw. Yun lang yung catch po doon. 
That's why guys, if you want to put your money sa time deposit, make sure na ito yung pera na hindi pa natin kakailanganin in the next 6 months or in the next 9 months or in the next 2 years, alright? Kasi sayang talaga yung high interest, alright? And there you have it guys, mga bagay na dapat natin malaman about tonic. Kung meron ka ng Tonic account, comment nyo naman sa baba kung kumusta yung naging experience niyo with Tonic so far. And kung wala ka pang Tonic account, saan ka mas excited? Sa stash ba or sa time deposit? Para sa akin personally, sobrang promising nitong Tonic. Ang taas ng interest na offered nila. And not only that, yung features pa nila like the stash and tsaka yung time deposit, sobrang nag-level up kasi walang ganto with other digital banks na natry na natin dito sa ating channel. ba? So anyway guys, yun lang muna for now. Sana nakatulong kayo pa itong video na ito sa inyo. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Stay, stay, stay safe. Bye for now.